Hey everyone, today I'm talking about how exercise helps to improve my mental health. And on this channel, I've talked about self-care and dealing with stress and anxiety. So today's video is in alignment with that. So I started this channel and my blog, Rejoicing with Purpose, because I wanted to share lessons that I'm learning, mainly on my faith and purpose journey. And I share these lessons so they can help you and hopefully they can be a source of inspiration and motivation. On my purpose journey, I've dealt with stress and anxiety and I've found different ways to overcome like trusting God, engaging in hobbies and exercising. So today's video is going to be about exercise and how it helped me and I'll share some tips on how you can get started. Okay. The first benefit I want to talk about is it helps to boost my mood. So I realized that whenever I exercise, I felt better. Like there was just this shift in my mood and it made me less emotional. And studies have shown that when you exercise, endorphins are released. And if you don't know what endorphins are, they are hormones that are sometimes referred to as feel-good hormones because they do exactly that. They help to make you feel good. And I also noticed that when exercise is a part of my regular routine, I'm less irritable. So I tend to have like more patience with people. And I also tend to be more optimistic. So I don't get sad and flustered as easily when things don't go as planned or if I'm faced with a challenge or an unexpected setback. And that leads me to the next point. Exercise helps me to think more clearly. So what I noticed is that after my workout sessions, I realized that I was less worried. I didn't think so much about the things that were bothering me, like the workload and the deadlines. And because I didn't feel so overwhelmed and flustered, it's like I could step back, take a deep breath and deal with the issues and the various tasks, like the things on my to-do list in a very rational manner. So I would devise a plan, create action steps, and then execute them successfully in a reasonable time and get them done before the deadline. And that meant that like I was also more productive, so I had more time to relax and I could do the things that I enjoy. And that leads me to the next point, which is exercise helps me to feel calmer. So whenever I do my workouts, I, or I make sure that they're vigorous enough to increase my heart rate. And I've found that that kind of exercise, it forces me to breathe deeply, which helps to calm my mind. And I've talked about deep breathing on this channel before. I talked about it in my video about self-care ideas. Um, deep breathing, it allows you to take in more oxygen and it calms your nervous system, which helps you to relax. And this makes it easier for you to fall asleep. And I've found that it also helps with my appetite, like helps it to return to normal. Because sometimes I've noticed that when I feel stressed, like I don't want to eat. But exercise really helps with that. So if you're thinking about adding exercise to your weekly routine, here are some things I want you to keep in mind. The first thing is, Exercise regularly if you really want to reap the benefits. So you will, you will experience most of the benefits of exercise with consistency. And some persons recommend that you exercise around 150 minutes per week, which could mean like exercising five days per week for about 30 minutes. But I know you may not have that much time on your hand. But based on my experience, I've found that like exercising three to four times a week is good enough if the session is sufficient to increase your heart rate. Like, so that might be like a 10 or 15 minute workout. But of course, it will depend on the activity that you do. And that leads me to the next tip, which is start at your pace. So don't try to run a mile on your first day, especially if you know you haven't exercised since high school. Just don't do it. Walk a few blocks, then gradually increase the distance. Make sure you give your body time to adjust to the increasing level of activity. 
And you want to make sure that if you're going to be jogging or doing a workout, make sure you warm up before to prevent any injury. My next tip for you is drink more water so you can stay hydrated. So the thing with exercise is that it can lead to dehydration and that can lead to dizziness and fatigue and it can even lead to rapid breathing which may cause you to panic. So it's very important that you drink enough water so you can stay hydrated. One of the good things about exercise is that you get to choose how and when and where you exercise. So when I just started, like I didn't want to walk or jog outside because I didn't think it was safe enough based on where I was living at the time. So I started by using YouTube videos and I would do the workout in my room. And I still use YouTube videos today, so you can also try that if you want to get started. You can also dance to your favorite music and it may not feel like exercise, but you still get the benefits. So that's the good thing. You can also try hula hooping and you can also try swimming. And if you cannot swim, but you have access to the sea or the pool, you can try walking in the water because that will be a good workout because you'll have to push against the resistance of the water. And if you live in a city, then you can go window shopping at the mall and then you can take the stairs instead of the elevator or the escalator. All right, so that's it for today's video. If you found it helpful, then make sure to like and share it and even leave a comment below. And remember to subscribe so you don't miss upcoming videos.